Hello everyone, welcome to the Controversial World with John. Today we're going to say goodbye to 2019 and hello to 2020. With that being said, there's only 305 days until election 2020. I want all y'all to come join me on that Trump train. Y'all hear it coming down the tracks. Choo choo. I'm going to keep America great. Let me just wrap up 2019 for you. From the best news 2019, it's the least deadly year for police officers since 1959, with only 131 this year. All right, now we're going to get on to April 18, 2019. The Mueller report was released, where we found out there was no Russian collusion, and Trump won the election of 2016 all by himself, even with Hillary trying to screw him over. After that, we had the Ukraine phone call investigation. Started where Trump released the transcript from the call because so many people in the House were trying to say that he had done some pre quo pro stuff which we come to find out it was Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, Joe Biden's son, Hunter, and also Nancy Pelosi's son was over there with his nose all in the dirt, trying to make a little money himself. So, yes, stuff was pretty dirty, but Trump wasn't involved. Trump asked a few questions, transcript show, talked to Ukraine's prime minister, but nothing else. That's it. And when nothing came from the Ukraine calls, Nancy Pelosi calls for impeachment, even though just months before, she said there was no reason for them to impeach Donald Trump. Hmm, shocker there. Then on November 3rd, 2019, my home state of Virginia turned blue for the first time since 1993 in both House and Senate. That's pretty bad, especially when you have Ralph Notrum posing his college yearbook in blackface. Apparently, we have a whole lot of dumbasses in Virginia that don't do their research and just vote how they're told Thank you, CNN. After that, Ralph Northam decided to try to ban guns and said he would call the National Guards if need be. Then, sanctuary gun counties came up for a vote in, the, in Virginia. 85 of Virginia's 95 counties already approved of it. On December 18, 2019, the House impeached Trump for abuse of power and obstruction of justice, but will not push it through to the Senate. This is my wrap up for 2019. I know a lot more happened, but it would take me a whole year of video just to cover that. I promise this year I will make more videos. And with that being said, I want to say Happy New Year's. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the little notification bell, and have a nice day.